Okay, welcome back to history. This week our history class is going to be a little bit different. We're going to take a week out and do a study on the Reformation. The Reformation was uh, in the 15th century uh, when a man by Martin Luther decided, uh, he realized, he read the Bible and he realized that what they were teaching him in church was wrong, all right? And I don't know if they were reading the Bible, and if they were, well, they made, they decided to uh, teach some things that were incorrect. All right. So on yesterday, we we part of our Bible study we read out of Martin Luther, and we're going to use the same story to for our history lesson. Now, you, I sent home a folder that looks like this. Okay. Um, I cannot remember if I told you. To, I, I believe I did tell you to color. Once you finish coloring this, you can glue that on the front of your folder like this, all right? And on this bottom line, you can write your name there. On the inside of the cover, I, I'm sure I already gave you these instructions, you're gonna glue uh, Luther's rose right here on top and the little um, explanation of what the the significance of the rose and the colors are and it's barely going to fit so you got to make sure that before you lay it down with your glue that you've got it really centered on top and this one's centered on bottom so they don't stick outside of your folder now the very first page of our folder is a picture of martin luther and if you open it it tells us what he lived by he, his rock was god Everything he lived by was through the word of God. What God told him was the truth, all right? Turn the page, and that is our Bible lesson from yesterday. And if you didn't, it's, I know it's a lot. You don't have to do it all in one day. You could do a few lines a day. And then you're going to turn your page, and you have some questions. That's, it's quite a bit of questions. I don't know if we're going to do them all. I think we're only going to do a few of these. So we're, today we're going to do question number one. It says, why was Martin afraid of death? So if you, do you guys remember our story that Martin was a very intelligent young man and his dad noticed that he was intelligent and he wanted him to go to school to study to become a lawyer and he sent him to school and bought him expensive books um, and one day while he was walking, I can't remember where he was walking, he was walking home and there was a thunderstorm and he almost got hit by lightning and it really scared him. It says, his son was so brilliant, Hans enrolled Martin at the University of Erfurt to study law. Martin might have become an important lawyer, but a sudden thunderstorm came along and changed his plans. And church history, too. He was returning to the university after visiting his parents. That's what it was. When a lightning bolt knocked him to the ground, save me, St. Anne, he cried out. I will become a monk. In the Catholic Church, they, they taught to pray to saints. So he prayed to St. Anne, and he says, save me. He thought he was going to die that night because a thunderstorm almost killed him. And he says, if you save me, I will become a monk. And he did. Thinking this was a sign from God, Luther sold his law books and entered the Augustinian monastery at Erfurt. Papa Luther was furious, and he had hoped that his son would be a wealthy lawyer and support him in his old age. And there is Martin Luther as a young man praying to St. Anne to save him. And if he saved him, that he would become a monk. And he did. He became a monk. He went to a monastery where monks live. Um... The ruler of Germany, he was, sent, he was sent to be a professor in Wittenberg, which is in Germany. While he was there, let me see, before, actually, before he went, at the monastery, Martin did not wish to displease his father. He only wanted to lead a holy life and know that his sins were forgiven so he would go to heaven. So Martin Luther tried to be a good monk. He prayed for long, long hours. He ate very little and he worked very hard. 
and he studied constantly and endured great hardships. Did it all help him? It didn't. It didn't help. Luther was surprised and saddened that the harder he tried to keep God's commandments perfectly, the more he felt like a failure. Okay, why did he pray so much? What was he afraid of? You know, he was afraid of that he wouldn't go to heaven. He was afraid that his sins would not be forgiven. So I'm going to show you what I wrote on the board. Okay, so Martin Luther was afraid of God being mad at him. He was afraid that God would punish him. But is God, is our God, does he get mad at us? God doesn't get mad at us. God is a loving God. God is gentle and he's kind. And he, he, he treats us, he deals us with grace. He's very forgiving. If we change our hearts and we repent of our sins, we're forgiven. We have to believe that he's forgiven us. Okay, so number one, he was afraid of God's wrath. God's wrath is God's anger and judgment. That's the punishment, God's punishment more than anything. He was afraid of that more than anything. And that's why he kept praying and fasting and working hard and studying his Bible. God forgives us the minute you repent. He didn't have to do all that. All right. So that's your, their answer to question number one. Go ahead and pause your video to write your answer. Okay, so here's a picture of Luther working hard, always working, 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 working. Why was he always working? Let's find out. Perhaps a visit to Rome, the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, would help him. The monastery sent Brother Luther over the Alps to Italy, but when he saw how worldly and sinful the Pope was and the cardinals behaved, he only felt worse. Then, once again, Luther's life changed. The ruler of Saxony, Frederick the Wise, had established a new university at Wittenberg. A hundred miles away from Erfurt, Luther was sent there to be a professor. Remember, he studied all the time. He studied so much that he became a professor. In Wittenberg, Luther became a scholar, a professor, and a preacher. But he had found peace with God. The head of the local, but the question was, did he still find peace? Was he at peace? Let's find out. The head of the local monastery, Johann von Staupitz, led Luther to the Bible for answers. In St. Paul's letter to the Romans, Luther read that God's righteousness, in other words, his holiness, is a gift to those who believe in Christ as their Savior. Paul explained that his right, this righteousness was not only God's own perfection, but something that he gave to people who were sorry for their sins and believed in Christ. Now Luther understood he didn't have to earn God's forgiveness because Christ had earned it for him. He thought he was working so hard and studying so much and fasting and praying so much because he, he thought he had to do all that so that he would be his sins would be forgiven. But the Bible says that, that, our, that it's given to us. By, grace, by the grace of God, forgiveness is given to us. And he learned that how? By reading the Bible. Somebody gave him a Bible and showed him, look, this is, this, it's God's holiness is given to us as a gift because of Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross for us. So question number two, we'll answer on the board. Question number two says, why was Martin confessing his sins for hours at a time? He would spend hours and hours, God, I did this, and I did this, and I did that, and I did this wrong, and I shouldn't have done this. He kept doing that for hours and hours and hours because he didn't, he thought he had to feel guilty. I mean, you do have to feel conviction. And so number two, he believed his salvation was based on works. So he was working all the time. He was studying all the time. He was praying all the time. He was fasting all the time. That's all this, his life revolved around, around that. He believed his salvation was based on working. It's not based on working. You don't have to do anything to be saved. All right, go ahead and pause your video. Okay, now question number three, and that's where we're going to end today, <clears throat> is that when the, the, the man in charge at the monastery where he was, be, was teaching as a professor he says, you need to go to the Bible and read 
and find out the answers to your questions, he, he showed him the letter of Paul to the Romans where it says that his salvation, he was saved by Jesus. Jesus paid the price for his sins. And once his sins are forgiven, they're forgiven forever. Once you repent of your sins. So number three, the question is, what did the Bible teach Martin about his sins? What did the Bible say? It said that his salvation was based on accepting that Jesus paid for, well, it's right, his, not your, his sins. His. And that's the same for you and me. We are saved because Jesus paid for our sins, not just for Martin Luther, but for everyone who accepts Jesus, that your sins are paid, all right? Because if you do, if you carry your sin, what you get in return for sin is death, all right? Your soul dies. We don't, we are sure our souls are eternal. We want our souls to go to heaven one day, all right? So this is number three. And on Thursday, we'll do a few more of these. I don't think we'll do, do the, whole pay, the whole paper, all right? So we'll see you guys on, go ahead and pause your video and finish writing this and we'll see you on Thursday's video. Bye-bye.